everyone, it's Marie from Sunshine Faith Real Estate Investments. Today we're going to talk about how to find a mortgage and how to apply for a mortgage. If you like these videos, go ahead and hit the bell so you can get notifications whenever I upload new videos and subscribe to this channel. Alright, to start off today, I will tell you I've gotten a lot of questions from my viewers on how to apply for a mortgage. Where in the world do I find one? So I said, well, let me go ahead and I'll make a video just for y'all. Alright, so starting off, before I would do anything as far as finding a mortgage company or a bank, I'd go ahead and get my finances in order. Um, first of all, you need about two years of tax returns, about two years of W-2s or check stubs, you need your bank statements, a couple of months of bank statements. You need copy of your driver's license. They may even ask you for your retirement account balance information. Finding a mortgage lender is what your goal should be. A mortgage lender that can work numbers in your favor and to make sure or to guarantee that you'll get your mortgage loan. So in order to do that, you're going to have to do a little interviewing. Most likely you'll probably start with your bank or credit union that you already have. Ask them questions like, what products do I qualify for? What type of down payment will I need? What, t how, what are the amount of closing costs if I buy a house for this amount? What is the minimum credit score in order to apply for your t mortgage? All of these questions are good questions to ask someone when you're applying for a mortgage. So, I'd start there. If your credit union or your bank is not able to help you, then I'd go for a mortgage company. Now, your, your credit unions and banks are going to be looking for certain things, and every single company is going to look for basically those four things, but you have to find someone that you feel comfortable with enough. So how to find a mortgage lender? Well, y'all, we're in the age of Google. Try it. I do. So Google someone, Google companies that you've at least seen on a commercial or maybe on the road somewhere. Um, start with those, give them a call, ask them some of the same questions I just told you. As you get familiar with people, maybe you choose someone that you like and eventually trust and that becomes your mortgage lender. And from there, that's when you are now worried about the financials. All companies are going to look at four basic things. They're going to be looking at your credit history, your job history, your debt to income, and your cash on hand to make sure you're able to pay for things or pay for the mortgage. So starting off your credit history, you only need a 580 to qualify. I think that's the lowest one for FHA in order to qualify. Your bank may not allow you to have a 580. You find that mortgage lender that does, that person you feel comfortable with, like I said, make those numbers work for you. Someone who can make the numbers work for you. Um, they're going to be looking at the type of payment history you have. They're going to be looking at your available credit. They're going to be looking at how much debt you have. For your the available credit you have, all of your available credit should be about 10% used each month. They're going to be looking at those type of things. So if you're not where they need you to be, that mortgage lender for you is going to help you get to that point. The second thing, they're going to be looking at your job history. Well, they're going to look at those W-2s, those um, check stubs, and those tax returns to see how much money you're bringing in each month and year so that they can determine whether you're actually able to pay for a mortgage. Then the third thing was your debt to income. Well, all that is is looking at how much debt you're taking out, excuse me, how much debt you're having to spend every month over the amount of income you get. FHA, I think, goes up to 55%, 55%, and then I think your other conventional loans go up to about 50%. So you're trying to stay away from those high debt to income, but, um, finding that mortgage person that will work for you and help you get that down so that you can qualify for a mortgage. And the last thing, the cash on hand. You're going to have to have money in order to get a mortgage, unless it's that specific USDA mortgage where there's no money down. So if you live in, live in the country, you might be able to get that one without any down payment. But um, for everything else, um, you'll have to have a down payment and that down payment, you need to ask that mortgage, um, 
that loan officer whether you're going to need a down payment of 3%, 5%, some may even be 10%. And that mortgage loan officer should be able to tell you exactly what you'll need and if you're falling short should be able to find or help you find some programs in order to qualify for the mortgage. If you've done all of these things and followed your mortgage provider's advice, you should qualify for a mortgage and the next thing they'll tell you is go find that home that you want. And that is your goal. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.